I'm so worn out. I really, really have almost had enough. Um, so something, something good is happening. I also feel, you know, I really feel like with the benzo withdrawal, my autonomic nervous system has been damaged. And sometimes this is worse than other times. I I feel like like today th this one awful symptom started again. Often when I'm exhaling, I'll do an exhale and I literally feel like I'm never going to take another breath. I feel like I'm dying and it's such a awful feeling. It's like something is so wrong, you know? And uh, why do I ha always have these things that that nobody knows how to help with? Nobody has ever known how to help with the sleep. No one's been able to figure that out. No one was able to figure out the sleep apnea. No one was able to figure out the sleepwalking and the sleep eating. Nobody was able to figure out the respiratory depressant, and, and they had me on two or three or th different sleeping pills at the same time at night and multiples of each. No one was able to figure out the respiratory depression from that, all those medications. But, you know, for years I noticed respiratory depression. I did not know, I didn't have the language for that. But I would exp very explicitly say to my doctor for years, my body doesn't want to breathe anymore. When I get into bed, my body doesn't want to breathe anymore. Why was no one ever able to figure that out? Why did, why is, is all of it rocket science? Like, why did I have to push for years and years to get diagnosed? Like, it, am I speaking a different language and people do not understand when I explain things? Like what, what, what is the barrier? What is the barrier between me and healthcare where I'm at? I don't understand. Like, I, I think it's due to the, you know, they, I don't know. They created this narrative about me that I'm crazy or something. And I, I keep proving to them over and over again that I'm right. And the, the, the comments in my medical records, like, And when I am right, they're angry, right? You ever see somebody angry when, whenever, wh when they're wrong? They're angry and they're embarrassed and they want to cover it up? I think that's what keeps happening here. Why do I always have these things that no one can figure out, right? And, and it makes me really wonder, like, are, are they being truthful? Like... How, how is all of this happening? So I, I, you know, I've been on CPAP for five years. The, that escalated into an absolute crisis situation, right? Uh, like I, I was fight, you know what? Everyone wants to think, oh, you're, you went into crisis with the benzo withdrawal and that's what it's, no, I was like S-U-I-C-I-D-A-L for a year uh, like, like this insomnia and sleep issues became life, life threatening a year prior to the benzoyl withdrawals. Uh, God, I'm so tired. I just, I'm almost, I, I, I just can't take much more. The CPAP, not, uh, five years on CPAP, it's been nothing but a fight and a battle with these doctors just stubborn and they want to they want people to think that i'm not sick they there's just this fierce desire to not diagnose the respiratory depression or the hypoventilation the lack of drive to breathe i do not know why is this just resentment left over from misdiagnosing me misdiagnosing all the other things lashing out and and you know not wanting to 
Like, or is it, uh, is it, okay, well, you've got this respiratory depression. It's not coming from the lungs. It's coming from the brain. We just don't want to acknowledge it because we don't know what to do with you. We're, we're, there's nothing we can do for you. Is it the unwillingness to say, yes, we see that you're sick. We've done all we can do for you. And they're unwilling to say that. They're unwilling to say we've done everything. See, uh, one or two doctors have told me this. Uh, there's nothing more I can do for you. A, a, a respirologist told me this and I said, I want my drive, I want my breathing measured during the day. You guys are telling me this is severe sleep apnea and severe sleep disordered breathing. It's not sleep apnea and severe disordered sleep, sleep breathing when I'm awake because my breathing is screwed up all the time. There's something wrong. I can't function. I'm disabled. There, my breathing is not normal. Like the breaths are too far apart. The, the not enough breaths per minute. I'm suffering from, you know, respiratory depression or hyperventilate, hypoventilation. I, I want something to measure that. And the, they're very careful with what they say. I've done everything I can do for you. Like they won't engage in, you know. So is it a w unwillingness to say, look, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what's wrong with you. Or is it the Chiari malformation and they don't want to support me in, in their reports? They, sh I think they should be writing supportive comments in the records because the neurosurgeons see these comments, right? I need, I need comments like, yeah, well, we've, we've done everything we can do. This is coming from our brain, right? They, I mean, these, they, they know, right? There's, you know, I had, I had uh, a couple doctors tell me they know what, I had one doctor specifically tell me they, they know. They know what, what they're doing, right? I don't think it's a mystery to them. But why though? You know, I fought for a trach and I've got two referrals. And I, I, I've sat on this for two weeks because I'm too afraid to hear the answer. Because I feel like I'm at the end of the line. If these two referrals are, I, I start to panic when I even think about it. If these two referrals are denied, I'm at the end of the line because I can't go on like this. A referral with a head and neck surgeon for a, possibly a trach because my throat closes and I can't sleep with the throat closed. And then uh, uh, with another surgeon to talk about potential carry surgery and they don't want to do it. If this, if this is denied, I j you know what? I don't even want to hear the answer because that's it for me if they, if they refuse. And I, I start to panic when I even think about it. So something good happened. Uh, I'll make another video and talk about it.